During his time at the Air Force Academy, Tom Whitney was a two-time All-Mountain West selection, two-time NCAA regional qualifier, and a finalist for the Byron Nelson Award. He closed out his career in 2010, holding numerous school records. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse Kurtz of the Mountain West Network. After fulfilling his military obligations, Tom Whitney is now chasing a career in professional golf. More on that, we head down to Texas and bring in the former Falcon, Tom Whitney. Tom, I appreciate you making some time for us. Before we talk some golf, I understand congratulations are in order. You are now the father of child number four. That's right, yeah. Two days ago, we had our second daughter, our fourth child, and uh, I was still able to sneak out to the golf course today thanks to the help and support we have with family. But yeah, it's a wonderful addition to our family. No question about it. And you're currently on the golf course as you're getting ready to uh, get back on the course for the Corn Ferry Tour, which is a step away from the PGA Tour. Big step for you in your career. Top 25 at the end of the year on the Corn Ferry Tour receive a PGA Tour card. Some notable players who started on that tour include Zach Johnson, Stuart Sink, Tom Lehman, Chad Campbell. I'm curious, what are some of your career goals short-term and long-term as you embark on this Corn Ferry Tour? Yeah, so I've had some pretty decent progression um, in regards to my career since I separated from the Air Force. Um, you know, I spent a couple years on the at the mini tour level, and then I went down to Latin America, which is a PGA sanctioned tour, and finished top 10 and graduated up to web.com, which is which is what it was in uh, 2017. And I, I had uh, conditional status in 17 and 18 as well. And then I dropped back down to Latin after kind of a poor season and then finished second on Latin in 2019. And this is technically my first year with full uh, playing privileges on Corn Ferry. So um, kind of a easily attainable goal in my mind would be to maintain full status um, for the next season on Corn Ferry. But uh, I could also see myself sneaking into that top 25 and graduating to the PGA Tour. Well, you've had some great success since you uh, really became a, a full-time professional. And you speak of that Latin American tour. You had a great year last year, six top 10 finishes and 16 starts, including a win in Argentina. What are some of your fondest memories of getting to travel and compete across the world? Yeah, it, it, it's just cool experiences across the board um, from um, talking with new cultures and, and learning their 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 food and just basically how they interact. Um, some countries have traffic laws that don't really uh, exist. You know, there are laws in place, but no one abides by them. Um, so yeah, you learn which, which countries you can rent a car, which ones you need to let the professional drivers uh, drive you around. Um, you know, experience a lot of great menu options, just stuff you wouldn't experience here in the States. Uh, a lot of nice people too. Because uh, you've got to keep in mind that these courses are essentially hosting, you know, 150 players along with caddies and any support staff. Uh, so they really are opening their homes to us. And uh, yeah, just a cool experience overall. Uh, before you started chasing this full-time professional golf career, you served in the United States Air Force as a missiles officer. You had some pretty important responsibilities. Tell me about your job and what you were responsible for. Yeah, so um, this job that that I was assigned to, I didn't I didn't know it existed uh, when I was a cadet, and um, I'm I'm grateful that I was put in the position. Um, essentially, a crew partner and I would go down about 100 feet underground into a hardened silo, and we are directly hooked up to our nation's nuclear missiles. And our primary job is to launch if the order is sent. Um, obviously, that's never happened in this career field. Um, so then our day-to-day -day other uh, responsibilities are routine tests, exercises, maintenance, um, and then responding to security situations if those arise, uh, as well as unexpected maintenance, because these, these weapon systems were, were built during the Cold War, and a lot of that technology is still in place today. A heck of a responsibility, no doubt about that. Back to golf on the course. Uh, you hope to get back, obviously, competing here sometime in the near future. You're already back out there practicing regularly, but you're also busy around the house, tapping into those skills you learned in those engineering classes at the uh, academy. Tell me about the project that you recently just completed for your daughters. Yeah, so um, 
really, I was fortunate to be able to have the time to tackle this bunk bed project. Um, even, even before this, this delay on tour, I, I wanted to build this. Um, I'm grateful that the, the delay happened because I don't think a week would have been enough for me to tackle it. Um, just, yeah, just a, a fun project. I, I kind of de-stress in between tournaments when I have a project to look forward to at home. You know, it's just a different way to engage my mind. Uh, it's kind of like solving a puzzle. I usually start uh, from one, two, or even three plan ideas that I find online, and then I kind of uh, combine them and, and tailor them to my custom needs that I'm looking for. So really, I have a guide to go off of, but I'm kind of starting from scratch at the same time. Well, look pretty good to me. I would imagine your daughters were very thankful and they love the project. Absolutely. Yeah. Zoe loves sleeping on top and, you know, we welcomed Bobby a couple days ago and, and she'll be in that room shortly. Uh, your son, Skyler, also had a, a, a significant moment that golf actually played a role in. Tell me about losing a tooth and how you came up with that plan. Yeah. So, you know, part of uh, the fun of being a dad is you get to be creative and in the ways you go about things. And when it came to pulling his tooth out, uh, it, it just kind of popped in my head that the first tooth he lost or pulled, we actually did the traditional doorknob. I hooked the floss up to the doorknob and, and that worked wonderfully. And then uh, the second tooth came about and I had the bright idea of attaching it to a golf ball and letting him do the honors and actually hit it. And uh, again, it worked flawlessly. We, we lost the tooth in the yard, but he had a blast doing it. That looked like it, no question about it. On the golf course, you still proudly rep the Air Force Academy. Your head cover is the bird, as any great Air Force uh, Academy alum would do. When you think back at your time at the Academy, what are some of the fondest mem memories that have helped shape you as a person? So I get the question a lot of, you know, would you do it again? And and my instant answer is absolutely in a heartbeat. Um, re really, the, the team environment was the most precious to me, um, just because you spend so many hours with, with your team. And then, you know, the golf team travels upwards of, of 12 tournaments a year. Um, so just a lot of tight unit time with those guys. Uh, we got to visit some cool places as well. Um, and yeah, I, I enjoyed every minute of it after freshman year, of course. No question about that. We hear that a lot. But Tom, you have so much to be proud of. Success on the golf course, new baby at home, new furniture that you built. Congratulations on your success, and we look forward to seeing you have more success down the line here. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. That's Tom Whitney, former Air Force golfer and all Mountain West performer who is now chasing a career in professional golf. This conversation has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. In the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.